Jeff Ludicky's John Deere 227 is also a two row picker and there you can see how it's mounted on the tractor. I had a chance to talk to Greg Linder about the event. It's kind of neat. It's fun to do once a year. Yeah. We came by earlier and this show was running. That was good. Yeah, it broke down, I guess. All of this stuff's a little on the tired side. <laughs> you know, everything don't work perfect, but it it's, works pretty good for as old as it is. Sure don't get nothing done in a day compared to a big machine, though. A lot of a lot of people in this area are interested in old machinery, so you can get a pretty good crowd of guys together for something on a nice day. Sometimes, you know, in the spring or the fall, we'll we'll plow. We'll, God, we've had up to 40 guys show up with plows. You know, and oh, you can plow half a quarter in an afternoon. Plowing and this and oh, tractor pulls, antique pulls are kind of fun. Right. This is a, it's all different machines you guys have here. Different brands. Yeah. Different ideas. I'm having trouble with this when these ears come down and them shucks get caught right in there. And then the it'll start backing corn up into there and it won't feed on down. Ah, uh, okay. Then you just gotta stop. Eventually they'll work their way out of there. This is Jake Samuelson pulling the wagon. The only difference between then and now is this wagon is full of ears of corn rather than kernels, and it still has to go to the sheller. I've always wondered whether they choreographed this in advance or if they just know how to stay out of each other's way. Here's John again, pulling his two row new idea picker and a wagon. The ears in this wagon will go to the other side of the field where the sheller is operating. Comparing old machines to the new machines, Greg Linder told me these machines did a pretty good job. They tossed a few ears of corn over the side and here Lee Samuelson picks those up and tosses them into the wagon.
with Alan Samuelson driving and Ty Samuelson in the wagon, you can see there are a few generations here. Greg keeps a watchful eye on his new idea and as he told us every now and then he just has to stop and let it run and it will clear itself. Young Ty told my wife that next year he'd be old enough to drive the tractor and he's looking forward to it. 